Lesson 5, Paging Paging is a common need in applications. You want to allow the user to get one portion of rows at a time from a result set of a query so that the result can more easily fit in the target web page, UI, or screen. The row number function can be used for paging purposes. You assign row numbers to the result rows based on the desired ordering, and then filter the right range of row numbers based on given page number and page size arguments. For optimal performance, you want to have an index defined on the window ordering elements as the index keys and include in the index the rest of the attributes that appear in the query for coverage purposes. Following the indexing guidelines I just mentioned, you arrange the following index. Then, given a page number and a page size as inputs, you use the following code to filter the correct page of rows. For example, the following code returns the third page with a page size of 25 rows, meaning the rows with row numbers 51 through 75. If you're using SQL Server 2012, an alternative solution to paging is to use the new offset, fetch filtering option. This option is similar to top, except that it's standard, it supports skipping rows, and it's part of the order by clause. Here's the code you use to filter the right page of rows using the offset, fetch option given the page number and page size as inputs. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com